My name is Amali Smith, and this is my son, Amari Gay. He has asthma, and I have a nine-year-old with asthma. So um, it's one girl, one boy. The middle and the last. He, I found out when he was nine months old. He was coughing and he was crying, and they were trying to figure out what was going on with him. And I took him to the clinic, and she was like, no, you got to go to the emergency room right now. He's wheezing. No, not another one. <laughs> because the other one is very hard. She gets a nosebleed. I mean, she has a hard time on my chest. And then she wants to play soccer. She wants to actually play soccer and she has asthma. She's like, Mommy, I can't do it, but I want to do it. And the and her coach knows if she seems a little bit tired and exhausted, sit her down. Let her take her home. And then maybe she get back in again. She'll let you. And the number of grandchildren that I have are ages nine, eight, and seven, and I'm the grandmother. And the uh, boy's the oldest, and they're his siblings, so his sisters, which is eight, um, seven, and six. All three have asthma, and um, the middle child, who's Kiana, she developed it uh, when she was about two. She had an onset. She went into respiratory um, arrest, and I had to rush her to. We were in the emergency room for about, in the hospital for about maybe uh, six hours before they had actually admitted her as a patient and she stayed there for about two days. Control medications they gave her like the prednisone which is the, um, the steroids and she had to take that for, it was like um, you take a teaspoon for like every, what's every 24 hours and she was on that for like five days. So, and then we had to give her the albuterol, which is through the nebulizer, in addition to the Florvent, which was also um, one of the prescriptions that they prescribed for her in terms of 110 milligrams. The other two grandchildren, the, uh, the grandson and the youngest, who is six, Karina, Calvin, like I said, he's the oldest. Um, they're doing pretty well, pretty much controlled too. And I have not been to the emergency room in, a, in the past six months at all. We were in an emergency room at least maybe every month with all three of us sat through the emergency rooms are almost up to eight hours oh before being, you know, you know, just getting the discharge papers in order to leave the ER. You had to just sit and wait because they would never let you leave until their lungs have been cleared. 